we uh i am officially leaving leaving i got a bus so i'm only three hours four hours late from the time we should have left so this is a scooter that's fabian the hosts and uh the person who overfed us tonight and we missed our bus but yeah i slept off like crazy but uh bus is almost there so I made it uh, Slovenia it's so much love in Ljubljana I don't know where to start or where to go but I got you guys so I hope you're enjoying hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to this new one so now we uh i am officially leaving leaving i got a bus so i'm only three hours four hours late from the time we should have left so this is a scooter that's fabian the hosts and uh the person who overfed us tonight and we missed our bus but i'm gonna be only four hours late to to what is it called slovenia slovenia and i hope to share with you guys more so we're gonna i'm gonna take the scooter he's getting me the scooter and we're gonna hit the road to the bus station i got a 3 a.m bus hey <laughs> we're good we're good we're good uh, i know how to turn it on just hold it for a minute but uh, we are good yeah we're going hold this i'm i'm holding it but i'm ready i'm ready are you ready you want me to open this are you one? ready now this guy is drunk okay, no wait 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 i'm wait. ready yeah your bag is is on my my case yes so now i made it to my bus this is my bus to Slovenia. Uh, this is the bus that I rebooked to Slovenia. Yeah, so we're just waiting for m I'm just waiting for my ticket to be scanned. Uh, Dennis will be looking for a later bus. He's still working his way out to the final destination before we finalize our trip and head home. Yeah, so I just used a scooter here. It took us 10 minutes to come all the way. And so, Slovenia, I hope you're ready. It's a good thing I'm going to catch uh, Slovenia and do a little bit of that. I'll share with you guys a little bit of the content, of the Slovenian content. But I hope you guys are enjoying my adventure. So the bus is going to leave in a few. We just need to scan our tickets and get in. As we are earlier on time, so the bus on here, which is good. Ah, yes. Let's get it.
touchdown, Liana, <laughs> Slovenia. Yes, good morning and welcome to Slovenia. Yeah, just touch down here. And um, I'm I'm glad that I gotta I gotta catch my. No, I have one bus and then I'll get a flight from Zadar. But I'm honored to be here. That was my bus. So this is the bus station. And uh, like I said, Slovenia is a very small country, so you could exploit. Somebody told me you could move from end to end in less than two hours. So I have the whole day to do this. And uh, so I hope I can share the most. Let me know what you'd like to know about Slovenia. And I'll definitely, during the day, yeah, show you something, step down to show you some stuff about Slovenia. But I hear it's a very relaxed, chill country. Not very much to really explore within um, a day. Yeah, so I want to see. But first of all, I'm looking for Starbucks to explore and show you guys uh, this lady behind me is very creepy yeah and show you guys uh, the content that um, I'm creating upload the content and a little bit do the work so I want to find Starbucks Starbucks is usually everywhere so let me see if I can find the closest Starbucks around here yeah, but thank you guys for your continued support, for having fun with me and also, you know, just exploring uh, Europe with me. Let's go. Yeah, so this is Slovenia. And uh, we are looking for the next Starbucks. the Lisbon bus station and this is the architect here quite different from everything I've seen since I stepped into Europe seems to be a very chill because it's 9 a.m. in the morning so it should be rush hour but it seems to be very a very chill country nothing no one on the rush and it's very interesting to be traveling and seeing these differences in countries. Yeah, this guy seems to be from hiking. As I travel down south, I also realize that it becomes more slow and calm. Ugh. Yes, the architect here is something very different from everything I've been seeing in the entire Europe. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. One about the architect and about this place at large. I'm looking for a Starbucks, I hope it's here. Because uh, that's a sure way of getting internet, communicating at home. And also letting uh, Dennis and, uh, and um, Fab, Fab know that I made it here, okay? There are a few coffee shops on the other side, so let me, I can, maybe I can see. It doesn't have Starbucks, somewhere I can sit, have coffee, 
and uh, one. Right. Yeah, it's starting to feel like yeah, it's a different feel. Um, yeah, guys, so I'm in Slovenia. I got a coffee plate, it's Soli, it's Arab, and uh, I got me some black coffee, because I don't take milk. I'm too creamy to be taking milk, and some orange juice, which is the juice I've been enjoying. I'm gonna be walking, and uh, then explore Slovenia for the next uh, few hours. Ooh. So we have barley here. That's so all out for lunch. I look for Starbucks. I couldn't find Starbucks. The burger is really good. Maybe because I'm hungry. But I couldn't find Starbucks around here. Mm. Yes! I'm ready now. So guys, I wanted to say, in the morning I thought uh, Slovenia is not a vibrant country. Uh, Slovenia is very vibrant, I'm proving so it's afternoon, I just finished my walk and my lunch and um, it's time to explore Slovenia right now, ladies and gentlemen I have exactly 24 hours, no 12 hours actually because I arrived in the morning, I live in the evening and uh, I want to see what is it that I can explore here in Slovenia so this is the street of Slovenia uh, it's summer of course, the leaves are everywhere <clears throat> Something different from other European countries It was very hard to see leaves, they were constantly cleaning But in Slovenia it seems like everything is easy Pole pole, Slovenia pole pole Right, so one thing that I've noticed and you can help me check If you don't agree with me let me know The architect here is completely different from every country in Europe that I have visited during this tour and um, so where I am is the main street where the bus station is and this is where I later on will be taking my bus to the next destination it got a little bit messy you guys have been guessing yeah that's the bus I haven't seen the tram here, so the, here another thing that I noticed is the road is the road. The train, I haven't seen the train, I'd be happy to see the train around also and see how it works. But I've, I don't even see the truck here on the road, the train truck. Uh, but the scooters everywhere in Europe, biking, it's a biking culture, unlike um, Africa. A lot of people here walk as well. I see a lot of people on the street. I usually wonder who owns these doves or are they community doves? Like in Rotterdam, I was seeing uh, the ducks that belonged to the community. So they would go and the ponds were created for them. Was it the ponds or what? Yeah, for them to just swim around in. Karen is acting up. What's wrong with her? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, similar to a number of the countries, thanks to our subscriber who let us know that uh, um, the sound uh, that the uh, what is it that the 
the lights make is for the blind to know when it's time to cross the road a very smart idea i never thought about it actually now that i mentioned it in the video there's a subscriber of ours who shared share with us information about slovenia hello people constantly saying hello yeah yeah she has about uh, with us about uh, information about slovenia if you have any and we'll be very very happy to learn from each other like i said victors with victor is about sharing sharing inspiring but most importantly for me is learning i guess for me you and me is learning yeah so this is the architect it's um not very complex as in many countries 1920 it says and uh, like i was saying slovenia is actually a country that is rich in so many things one is uh, yes the tourist attraction sites uh we have uh the triple bridge and then we have uh, two bridges actually we have the triple bridge and we also have the dragon bridge uh but also we have the central market uh which i'm really interested and in hoping let me know if you guys would like to see that i am hoping to visit within the few hours that i'm here and show you guys in relation to our african open markets that would be an interesting place and i think uh, this would be an interesting content to bring to you guys the trivoli park and uh also the central uh, um not the central yes in relation to its size actually slovenia has a wide variety of things to do and places to visit the beaches are very far away from where i am uh i'm not very far like an hour drive from where i am i'm not ready to risk that because i don't know if there will be traffic and i don't want to miss my bus again <laughs> yeah but uh around me there is uh the triple the triple and the dragon bridge these two a uh, bridge these two bridges actually are very historical to the slovenian history and uh culture as well we have an open market the central market which i'm very interested to visit because um i was told that there is an open fish market there is so much variety it's reaching so much that i should actually visit and uh see also it'd be interesting to just see what Slova slovenia has to offer in terms of an open market and also have a comparison between the african market and uh, the slovenian open market as well uh, we did an open market um uh visit or tour in um in Czech Republic and it was interesting to see and also in uh, the very small open market in uh, Slovakia <laughs> where I bought that peach peach fruit we also have a park here the Tripoli Park which is known uh, Trivoli Park Trivoli Park which is known for a very interesting history if I manage to visit that which I'm not promising I uh, will be so glad to, to visit and share with you guys information about it. And then let me cross the road. So you heard the sound that I was telling you about for the deaf, which I think is a yeah, which I think is a really great idea. Also, we have uh, the metal cover. Uh, the metal cover is um, an historical site that uh, was recommended to me that I should uh, see. Well, I'm here and then the National Gallery would be interesting to visit. I don't know if I can do all this, but please thumbs up to encourage me to do this. And also, wow, this is now interesting. This is interesting. Let me turn the camera so I could show you. This, this is quite interesting. Different from everything I've seen in Europe. And then there is that tower up there. Yes. So there is Zen therapy here. Yeah? Zen therapy. Interesting. So this is Slovenia. And I am Ljubljana, which is uh, the capital city of Slovenia. So this is the capital. La city de capital of Slovenia. So let me know what you guys think on the comment section about Slovenia and what you'd like to know. 
uh, during my 12 hour stay here in Slovenia. Uh, it's quite uh, quiet, very relaxed uh, city. Ljubljana, that's how you like you write Ljubljana. L J U B L J A N. Jana. Jana. Jana in Swahili uh, means yesterday, which is pronounced Jana here. It's uh, Jana in Swahili, which uh, means yesterday. So I hope you guys are enjoying my stay here in Slovenia and the content that I'm bringing you up to bring you guys more. This is interesting, an electric uh, car charging. This brand of car, I don't know. I've never seen it. Uh, it's but uh, technology is one interesting thing that is rapidly growing than the human brain. Um, I was reading about it and uh, it's funny because some old technology here has not even arrived in Africa. Mention a few technologies that you know of here that are a bit older than a decade and has not arrived in Africa. And so, wow. so much love in Ljubljana. I don't know where to start or where to go, but I got you guys. So I hope you're enjoying. I'm gonna look for water, but I hope you're enjoying. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Look, I'll see you guys in the next video while we explore more here in Ljubljana, Slovenia. Peace, drop a comment from the comment section. Let us know what you think. Slovenia, we made it, Ljubljana, let's go!